Hello and welcome to another edition of On This Planet Earth. This week we're going to Malaysia, where I spent about three months earlier this year. You may remember Malaysia for Malaysian Flight 370 that disappeared almost five years ago. And then the Flight 17 that got shot down over Ukraine. Tough times for Malaysians, but they're tough people. You've probably already seen many of the videos I've made there. This time we're, we're gonna look at uh, mostly photographs. I'm recording this edition, however, in Lang Prabang, Lao. These are rice cakes behind me. They're getting them ready for morning alms. Going to give them to the monks as they parade by in the morning. Malaysia is a beautiful country of about 32 million people. It's actually a divided country. Part of it is on the peninsula that connects Thailand to Singapore, and the other part is on the island of Borneo. I stayed on the peninsula part, which is about the size of Florida. The country was under British rule until about 60 years ago, so everyone still drives on the left side of the road. Just a few degrees above the equator, Malaysia has pretty much the same weather year round. Not only that, but their day length does not change, very constant throughout the year. And tides, hmm, pretty much non-existent, at least in the southern part of the country. There are bridges everywhere, over rivers, over streets, out to islands. I found Malaysia to be a beautiful country. I spent three months there. Beautiful scenery everywhere you go. Open markets are a frenzy of selling fresh fruit, produce, meat, fish. In the capital, Kuala Lumpur, you'll find the Petronas Towers, which are still the tallest twin towers in the world. <laughs> Malaysia is a Muslim country, so you'll hear the call to prayer in a lot of places. Uh, when you stay in a hotel room, look up at the ceiling and you'll see an arrow that points toward Mecca. If you ride on a ferry or airplane, it's likely that your captain is going to be praying to a different god than you are. I tended to photograph the Buddhist temples. I mean, come on, they're beautiful, they're colorful, they're, they're whimsical. Looks like we got some uh, peppers drying here. Thing about Buddhism though, it's a lot of burning. They love to burn candles, josh sticks, money. According to them, your dead ancestors need money. Person's gotta live, right? But the only way they can get money, a cell phone or cigarettes or new car or whatever, is if you burn it. There's an industry built up of making fake money, fake uh, items of jewelry or cell phones or cars or whatever. And so people burn these right outside their apartments. Right, oh, we got one latecomer here. And then there's Tai Pusam, a Tamil holiday. It involves a lot of sacrifice to the gods in fasting, cutting your hair, and also body piercing. The big celebration usually includes a parade through town with uh, people wearing large costumes that look very painful. And then there's Chinese New Year. Lots of noise, lots of music, dance, lots of food, lots of fire. That boy's asleep. And then there are the islands of Langkawi. I spent a few days on the main island and had a blast. In the middle of the country are the Cameron Highlands. Beautiful. They go up around three, four thousand feet. A lot of, uh, a lot of strawberries growing up there. A lot of flowers. You could stop at the very home where the legendary Jim Thompson uh, spent his last night, perhaps on this planet Earth. He was a CIA agent uh, during World War II and, and became a silk merchant. He went down to visit some friends there in the Highlands. On Easter Sunday, they all went to church and then he went for a walk, never came back. They're still looking for him. On Georgetown, and the Island of Penang, just a, a nice place to be, especially in the month of January when they have their annual balloon fest. And the food is incredible in Malaysia. 
It was a mix of Chinese, Japanese, and, and Indian cuisine. I saw my first cotton tree ever. Never knew they had such a thing. And this was interesting. Indoor fishing ponds. You pay by the hour. And of course you probably already know about the swift nest birdhouses. I saw the largest bug there once. If this thing had been in my hotel room, yeah, I would have freaked out. I'm having one of my favorite dishes here in, in Laos. It's fried rice. You can get it with chicken or pork or seafood. Not bad. Well, thanks for hanging. That's my report on Malaysia. And what a beautiful country it is. I'm Mark Gilchrist, and I am, and you are, we all are, on this planet Earth.